Ryan and Tim, thank you for joining us. You guys have your debut feature this year in Vancouver International Film Festival, Low Life. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the film? Yeah, it's basically one crime uh, that we revisit. A kidnapping. It's a kidnapping that we revisit from multiple different perspectives of all the people involved. And so the narratives overlap and kind of uh, build to like a gloriously violent You can tell we're the writers because we talk about the structure of it. It also has a luchador and uh, several other fun fun things. Fun characters, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, they make films based on personal experiences or relationships. We both used to be luchadors, actually. <laughs> both so, Mexican yeah. wrestlers. I understand there's like organ harvesting and stuff that yeah. goes on. Yes. So where did all this inspiration come from? We're both not from Los Angeles and moved to L.A. and. Uh, uh, just really got inspired by yeah, like the characters of the city. I yeah. think that was like the, the sort of the germ of the whole idea. Yeah, you come across people in the margins often. The temptation is just to write them off and ignore them. But you know, for us, we always really, I think as storytellers, wonder what what their backstory is and who they are as human beings. So that was kind of what we set out to do when we started uh, working on Low Life. Um, well, the film's been described as an homage to Tarantino. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to hear those comparisons? Incredible. Awesome, yeah. Like, specifically, everyone keeps bringing up Pulp Fiction, which is, you know, one of the always on everyone's greatest lists of... It's a classic. Yeah, so, not, a, not a bad deal. What country are you from? What? what? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! So there was five writers. I, I think you guys were all friends before you started this film. And so what? And after. And we after. Were friends yeah. afterwards. That's important. Just... <laughs> the biggest accomplishment. I mean, was it kind of like difficult to, or, or was it easier, you know, having five really creative, good friends on board on one project? Yeah, I think, I mean, the cool thing was um, we, we treated it, it was like almost an experiment for us as well. Like, we treated it like a TV writer's room more than, than a and writing a feature where uh, we all broke story together and then went off and wrote the separate segments because it is a segmented narrative and then came back and, and edited together. So like, I think if anything, it kind of kept us a little bit more um, honest and you know, everyone was, was able to kind of call you on, you know, if something wasn't working or whatever. And, and we just had to, we do work well together, but we have like different voices, which really I think helped strengthen it. and. Because we, <clears throat> the film itself is so like tonally kind of, I think brave, I'll say, <laughs> but all, all over the place, you know, like we, like, I think that really is like uh, what mirrors our, our, all of our different um, personalities and that we do have, you know, comedy and crime and horror and everything in between. And, and that was to me the funnest part of like really just starting, we got to, work with our friends we all got to like make this movie together and like yeah it was just it was a blast for this to be our first feature um yeah with your buddies yeah it was, it was incredible deal. yeah yeah and we had all worked together at school uh on various different projects as well and then coming out of school we were doing sketch comedy and short movies online uh we did web series together mm -hmm. so we definitely had the experience of working together we were comfortable with it and yeah, so the feature was just kind of felt like the next logical step yeah. for us as a, as a group and uh, to move things forward, yeah. I'm curious, after having pulled off your first feature film, do you have any other words of encouragement or advice for other young filmmakers that are kind of, you know, maybe in the same headspace? There's a lot of writers in L.A. and, you know, maybe there's... All yeah. over, there's writers all over. Yeah. yeah, I think, like, it really was because luckily we all met each other, I think, at school and, like, we all really jive together and it was like finding people that you really wanted to work with was was really important but like the main thing was like the movie we made I'm really proud of the fact that like <clears throat> no one would would have ever I mean they didn't and then wouldn't have given us like money or permission or anything to make the film and we just went and like not through official channels anyways no yeah. and we just knuckled down and did the movie um you know a, a, like a less perfect film um that's completed is worth you know, a million ideas in your head, so. Yeah, and along with that also is just um, definitely take the initiative and plan it out and do it, but also when you do do it, if you're doing it yourself, make sure it's what you want to make. Don't make it for someone else. I think really the success mm -hmm. that we've we've had with this movie is because we, we made the movie that we knew no one else would let us make. And we said, if we're going to do it ourselves, we're going to go crazy. Like, we're going to do all the insane things that no one else would, in a, would, a million, would let us do in a million years, so. That was and, tru be, and trust that your taste is going to like carry through. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, if you are going to do it yourself, don't make it for someone else. Make make what, what you want. Yeah. So. 
you. Cool. Well, on that note, I wanted to thank you, Ryan and Tim, for stopping by. And yeah, we hope you enjoy the rest of your festival and time in Vancouver. Yeah, this That's has been incredible. We, the, the screening yesterday, um, incredible, perfect picture and sound. So it was really yes. awesome. And the crowd was really awesome. And we got really um, impassioned Q&A yeah, questions, definitely. which we is did. Really, we got great questions. You don't normally get that. Like, so that, I don't know. This has been a great experience. So thanks yeah, for having thanks us. Thanks for having us out.